so th th there's this while shooting these videos while while, while shooting these videos this there's this nice thing that I stumbled upon that whenever I give a speech there's so many instances when I use this filler hmm? Hmm? it makes me feel nice but it does not make me feel nice when I'm listening back to my video. And I am not very critical kind, critical minded guy. If there is something that I can ignore, some flaws that I can ignore, then I do it. I have already developed a neuroplasticity for that. But this was something which was not ignorable. I learned that. Then I kept it in my mind. That I do not have to repeat it. I should stop doing that. And guess what? I am at this level of neuroplasticity that I do not have to practice things. I just have to give my head a, an idea. Insert an idea. Just make a decision. And that becomes my reality. That becomes my habit. And guess what? I am good at building habits but not destroying the habits and that is how it should be when you are going there to destroy your habits you are addressing your habits your bad habits and by the very act of addressing your bad habits makes your bad habits powerful gives them power and that's what you should not do and that's why I always say, just remove all of your focus and attention from what went wrong, for what's not happening good, for something bad that happened. You're all the focus, all the focus. Ah, you can contemplate upon it. Consciously you can think about it. The problem, you can contemplate on the problem. You can give it a thought, a deep thought. You can have a rational discussion with your friends. And who are your friends? Your friends are your neurons. These Facebook people are not your friends. And those people that you go and smoke and have tea with or have booze with and gossip about women with. They are not your friends. Your neurons are your friends. Your neurons have built you. They create your reality. On yearly basis. On monthly basis. Weekly basis. Daily basis. Hourly basis. Minute basis, on second basis, in the real time, your neurons create your reality in the real time. Not only do they create your reality in real time, they themselves define the laws, even forces. Gravity is a neuroplasticity. Electromagnetic force. Weak nuclear force. And strong nuclear forces. It's a construct. It's a construct of your neurons. Which are construct in your head. Which are constructed by your habits. By your preferences, by the people that you are surrounded by, by the things that you are surrounded by, that the events that you sail through on daily basis, the kind of vibe 
that you carry on daily basis the kind of things that you watch on your smartphone and tv as a matter of fact everything that you watch on tv everything that you watch on tv is disconstructive disconstructive is destructive okay. <laughs> the opposite of constructive destructive everything that you watch on tv is destructive it constructs a construct of neurons in your head programmed to produce more mediocrity more sufferings more lack more dissatisfaction false benchmarks check out every ad these days practically every advertisement every commercial is full of naked women this is the biggest crime in the history of mankind on this planet that i have witnessed and i will fight against it humans are sexual beings a desire and urge to have sex our sexual desires are our are our instincts we have been carrying those instincts we have been carrying those instincts not since when we were monkeys or chimpanzees no we have been carrying those instincts for 500 million years when we were reptiles right in the center most brain in our head reptilian brain it's kind of instinct that can never be condemned in order to have the replication instinct removed from your brain the human species has to come has to completely get extinct it's the innermost brain the oldest brain in our skull the newest brain is prefrontal cortex cortex i'm sorry prefrontal cortex reptilian brain gobons respiration fight and flight response desire for food desire to replicate desire to protect themselves this is an instinct which cannot be taken from any living being and these commercials are encashing all those instincts this is this is a crime against humanity by humans in order to look your product more attractive you use women half naked women you go to big places big shops there are beautiful women selling the product you go in airlines they dedicated schools and organizations to recruit such dumb and hot women so that they are the the airline can sell oh this is this is the height of media the call center women hired to sell product on phone a woman's voice is woman's voice don't you think so don't you think a woman voice compels you to buy the product and then it's a deep shit marketing advertisement commercials it's a deep 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 shit there are even neuromarketers there are people dedicated to understand human brain and they are using the 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 instincts our instincts the power the human potential against us in order to sell their product no 
It is a high time human, human, human humanity should realize what they have been carrying in their brain, in this skull. And that is what we should be feeling pride of. That is what we should identify ourselves with. Not with our color. Not with our caste, religion or state that we were born in. Or the kind of school that we graduated from. The kind of wife or husband that we got. The kind of kids that we got. No. You are an individual. You are a human. With ultimate, with ultimate potential in your head. You should acknowledge that.